Hundreds of millions of dollars have been invested in the village of Providence over the years. And now thousands of people live in what leaders there are calling a city within a city. News 19's Joe Cadott has been in Providence all day talking with the people who built that neighborhood out of, well, thin air. He joins us now live. Joe? Jerry, Christine, see the dirt that's above the vehicle that's behind me there? That's part of what they call the 2020 in Providence project. It's a $100 million project. Developers say nothing like that has ever been built in the Huntsville area before. It's going to have a rooftop swimming pool and some fitness areas and 20,000 square feet of ground level retailer, retail space. Most of that has already been leased. We had absolutely nothing and people thought that Todd and I were crazy for uh, embarking on such a large project. David Sliman is one of the village of Providence's founders. What began as a vision manifested out of trees and fields 18 years ago. The 305 acre village of Providence broke ground on another massive development at the very area where ground was broken on the entire village 18 years ago. People can live here, they can work here, they can play here, they can go to school here. We're a town within a town. 2020 at Providence will have hundreds of luxury apartments with fast elevators, accessible by a covered parking space. It will also have a rooftop pool with a gym and 20,000 feet of ground level retail space that's mostly already leased. It's kind of mind boggling, but you know, we're taking Huntsville to the next level, and that's what the Village of Providence has done since day one. Um, you know, all the naysayers came out and said, oh, it'll never happen. What are they doing? They're building buildings in the middle of nowhere, and now we've created a town within our town. The Village of Providence says developers say they don't know what this is going to look like in another 18 years, but they expect things to continue to grow and improve. Live in Huntsville, Joe Cadott, News 19.